My name is Vincent Wong and I'm in charge of CH Robinson Africa here in Asia Pacific. CH Robinson is one of the largest logistics provider from China to the US and we would like to share with you the current China policy affecting PPE and how you can build a more resilient supply chain when shipping PPE from China. Understanding China PPE policies, a lack of clarity on the process and requirement may result in delays if you don't have the right people on the ground navigating this challenging environment. Recently, China implemented three key policy, and that's policy 5, 53, and 12 relating to PPE. On March 31st, policy number 5 was announced jointly by the three government agencies, requiring all medical supplies to meet the quality standard of the importing countries. At the same time, they separated medical and non-medical PPE current process. On 10th of April, the Chinese custom implemented policy 53 with increased CIQ inspection on all PPE product labels, packaging, and documentation. On April 26, policy 12 was introduced, called the white and black list for manufacturer and suppliers. Products subject to mandatory CIQ. On March 20th, the Chinese custom updated its database and created a dedicated HS code for PPE product. Since then, a new HS code for PPE was introduced to, to simplify export declaration. This is to provide a tighter control on what is being exported. PPE products are classified under 11 product names with specific HS code. The most widely shipped commodity is the medical mask. In terms of declared value, 40% of all PPE exported are mask related, and about 80% of these masks were air freight out of China in the past two months. So what are some of these medical PPE documentation that is required? I, we split, for convenience, we split into mandatory and optional. For mandatory documents such as business registration license, product testing report, product certificate are required. On the mandatory document listed, we suggest you to work with your suppliers and I'm sure now they are familiar with this document by now. For, option, for optional documents, it's not a must, but highly recommended to have them ready to avoid delays in custom process. What take a day to clear have stretched three days, but we have seen that improving in recent weeks. The QC certificate also called the product certificate. This is a mandatory documentation and each sales pack must have one QC certificate. Information on QC certificate, packaging, and testing report must all be aligned. Items such as product name, specification, quality standard, raw material use, patch numbers, date of manufacture, shelf life, and of course, manufacturer name and address must all be listed. Policy 12 that was implemented on 26 April Chinese custom introduced the black and white list to have better control over the manufacturer and supplier. For non-medical export declaration, shipper found on the black list will not be able to export the PPE listed item. Company on the white list are still subject to CIQ inspection, but on a lower inspection ratio. And for company not on either list, they can still sh export PPE, provided they have all the necessary documentation, but subject to a higher inspection rate at CIQ. For export declaration of medical or surgical masks, currently there are 165 companies listed in the white list. And I'm sure this list will continue to grow as more companies are familiar with this PPE regulation. We understand the importance of your shipment, the value it brings and the life is safe. Last thing we want is for your shipment to be held in customs and your cargo to miss a scheduled flight. The best way to navigate this landscape is to ensure your manufacturer understand this new policy, 5, 53, and 12. Comply with the rules which I listed in this presentation and knowing that CH Robinson had the resources in country to help you with these challenges. With that, I thank you for your time and hope this brief PPE introduction was helpful. On behalf of CH Robinson, we wish you a pleasant day ahead. Thank you.